Welcome to Tunes Kit. In today's video, we'll show you how to factory reset an iPad without a passcode. Normally, to restore factory settings, you only need to enter the settings, find General, then find the Transfer and Reset option, and select Erase All Content and Settings. However, you need to enter the lock screen password and the Apple ID password in turn. But what if you don't remember the password? Let's try these three methods. Method 1. Reset iPad without passcodes via iTunes. If you have ever logged into iTunes, you may still have account history on your computer. You will need to click on the Summary option that lies on the left menu. Then click on the Restore iPad option. A reminder that the system is being downloaded will appear in the upper left corner. This is preparing your iPad to update the system and erase the original system. Method 2. Reset iPad without passcode via iCloud. Find the Find My iPhone feature on the iCloud website where you have already logged in. Click the All Devices option and select the iPad. Then tap Erase iPad option to reset iPad data. If you can't remember your Apple ID password, you can try using Toonskit iPhone Unlocker. Step 1. Connect the iPad to the computer. Then, choose Unlock Apple ID. Confirm that the password is set and whether two-factor authentication is enabled. Then, click the Start button to proceed to the next step. Step 2. Confirm the device information is correct. This method is compatible with devices running up to iOS 18. Download the firmware package by clicking Download Doc Asterisk. The firmware package is required for the unlocking process and is safe to use. It will not pose any security risks to your phone or computer. While downloading, do not disconnect your iPad from the computer. Once the firmware is downloaded, Tunes Kit iPhone Unlocker will begin unlocking your iPad. If an error occurs during the process, disconnect your device, check whether the firmware package was installed correctly, and repeat the steps. This process will not take too much time. Finally, your iPad will be restored to factory settings. If you have any questions, please contact us in the support center. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more helpful tutorials.